Aries, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for March 2020 for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, guys, tapping into the energy. I heard um, first a song by India Irie, who is one of my all-time favorite artists. The song is Get It Together, specifically the line, um, one shot to your heart without breaking the skin. No one has the power to hurt you like your kin. Then I heard, uh, then later on in the song, she changes kin to friend. So some sort of family or friendship hurt. Then I heard, you know the truth by the way it feels, which is another line from an India Irie song. But when I sat with that, it gave me the feeling that this reading would serve as a confirmation. Then I heard, B you unapologetically love yourself unconditionally what matters most is what you think of yourself only you can be you beautifully flawed flaws and all so and then the creator did not make a mistake on me then i heard minus the fluff it's what's underneath the essential self is what's important I was given the Ten of Pentacles in my mind's eye. That's about legacy, inheritance, those long-standing foundational things that provide for you and future generations. Then I heard, I am a queen. The title of our reading, You Can Fly. So let's go ahead and get the meat. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a monthly energy read for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 2020. Using me as the channel, please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. So these are the two decks that jumped out at me for our reading. And purple, crown chakra, otherworldly knowledge, downloaded information, screams, shock crown chakra. So let's get a overall read on the energy from Sundara Fawn's Reawakening the Soul deck. One card please for a read on the energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 2020, using me as the vessel. What does Aries have going on? What's the overall read on their energy for March 2020? Thank you. I get two and I'll take both. So balance shows up, but under balance, courage to balance. So needing courage to balance your life. Okay. That's just what I heard. Courage and balance. The two overall energies of the reading for March. Then from... Our spirit comes from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, wrapped in violet for the crown chakra. So, what's our message for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 2020? Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, March 2020, using me as the vessel. What's the message? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, Lord have mercy what you guys got going on. Okay, so let's take them as we as they come out, came out. First card, always the thickest or heaviest energy of the read. Unknown. New beginnings, full energy. Zero is God's source. So powered by God, needing to take a leap of faith, get into full energy, start from ground zero, pack light. Only take those things with you that are necessary for this next leg of your journey and take that bold leap. Go blindly, trusting that God uh, will, that you'll end up exactly where you're supposed to be. This is what the full energy is about. After that, we got the shadow card. So this is the moon. Comes out on feminine energy. Card number 18. 18 reduces to a nine. Nines are about growth and expansion. Now this moon card is about those things hidden. Also darker aspects of one's personality. Next, we have obstacles and challenges. Card number five. Fives are about just that. 
change and conflict. So um, this card specifically in this deck gives heavy competition vibes. So the obstacles and challenges in a competition. So five of wands energy. Then we get this whole stack coming out as central to the issue. What? Wisdom, which is the higher front card. Card number five again, so two fives about conflict and change. The Hierophant in the traditional deck is about uh, social constructs. So it's a laundry list of things that this card could cover. Wisdom is about just that in this deck. So it is a contract. See the book? It's a field of study. It is um, any gained wisdom represented by this card marriage represented by this card so material excuse me financial and material changes another number five at the center of your reading this is going to be a huge shift we already have five 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 as the coding so a huge change a huge change that you're going to need to have courage for and a huge change you'll need to remain balanced for okay because there's a need for a sacrifice Card number 12. 12 reduces to a three. Threes are about connection and communication with the angelic realm. Now, this sacrifice card is the hermit in the traditional deck. So not only do we have three fives, but we have one, two, three, four major arcanas out of six. So yes, a huge, heavy shift. But this sacrifice leads you to wish fulfillment with card number nine. Growth and expansion again, second number nine. And a full heart chakra, card number four. Heart chakra is the fourth chakra. Anahata is the Sanskrit word. The color is green. The affirmation that I mostly use is I am love, I give love, I receive love. Where? In your foundation, your home, your family. Happy, happy, happy is the definition of this card. You see the rainbow. Fours, again, are foundational things. Family, stability, and home. Foundations and achievements. This is four of wands energy. Happy home, happy life, happy family, happy wife. Happy, happy, happy is the energy of that card. But you're needing spiritual strength to get you there. So... Card number nine again. So not only do we have three fives, we also have three nines. Nine, nine, nine. So a huge period of growth and expansion and change. So expansion has changed too. Growth has changed too. You're growing. So that's change, 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 change. But you're moving on to calmer waters with the Six of Swords energy. Okay, clear and concise reading. A lot going on. Everybody else got about six cards in their spread. You got uh, 10, 12. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, truth, a judgment, another major arcana, card number 20, judgment in a partnership and or alliance that requires courage and balance. Okay. Everything in this reading is going to be based on this judgment, this truth, to get you the new beginning that you're wanting. So, everything this month is clarified with the Tarot of Dreams. Wrapped in orange, all for sacral energies, creativity, passion, pleasures. Starting at the top of the read. Let's see what this shadow activity is. We know you're on a fool's journey, okay? Embarking on a brand new adventure. But there's some shadow activity here with the moon. Moon also speaks of cycles. Tell me the story of shadow, please. Why is he here? the scaries need to know about this shadow card. Tell the story. Find shadow here. Thank you. 
All right. Quite a few cards for shadow. So, placement is everything. From the bottom, we have the Knight of Coins. So, Knight of Pentacles. This is my slow, methodical knight. He devises a slow plan to ensure victory. Okay? Represents um, earth signs. So, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So, someone's devising a slow, methodical plan to sacrifice something. That's where the card fell. And nine of coins in reverse. This sacrifice is coming out of singlehood. And that's why material, financial and material changes is at the center of your reading. So, in the upright, this is a fruitful, independent energy. In the reverse, this energy does not want to be independent anymore. So there, the shadow is that this is being done behind someone's back. Someone's plotting behind someone's back to bring a tower to cause hurt in someone's heart. This is this financial. They're leaving and they're devising a slow methodical plan to do it. And they consider this something that they are sacrificing. Okay, this tower is here. And the last card to clarify is the page of coins in reverse, falling on the home card. So page of coins in the upright, page of pentacles is about tangibly giving. So what does it mean? What do you think it means when it falls reverse on a home card? They are no longer tangibly giving in their home. They're plotting to leave. I don't make this energy up. I just tell you what I get. So we have someone who's plotting to go. Okay, it's at the center of the reading, this material, financial and material changes. Only time I see this usually in my readings is when there's going to be some sort of separating of a house, separating of a household. Now, be careful because this plotting and planning behind someone's back is in your shadow side. And the very next card is obstacles and challenges, which alludes to some sort of competition. So let's see what that's about. Tell the story, please, about obstacles and challenges. Why is it here? Why is obstacles and challenges here? Yeah, this is a third party situation. I just heard it. And someone is plotting to leave their home. Okay. They consider this their wish fulfillment to move on to calmer waters. So whatever this shift, whatever side of this shift that you are on is going to require courage and balance. And it's based on a judgment, based on truth. Tell the story about obstacles and challenges, please. Thank you. Yep. The devil just showed his face as a challenge. speaks volumes. Toxicity. You're in toxic behavior. That's the only card that we'll get to clarify. So the devil, you're in toxic energy. So anything that seeks to keep you bound is represented by the devil card. So it could be a way of doing things, a thought process, a relationship, a codependent relationship, um, an addiction, anything that seeks to keep you bound. Okay. It comes out to clarify your obstacles and challenges. It's a caution, sir, ma'am. You're operating in your lower tendencies. You're in devil energy. Whoever's decided to make this slow, methodical plan to ensure what they consider victory, pause for the cause, please, because there is no victory here in the way that you're moving. Absolutely not. Let's find out. I know what you think your sacrifice is. Let's find out what you are really supposed to sacrifice. So tell the story of sacrifice, please. Why is it here? What is this sacrifice that will get to which fulfillment a fully open and abundant heart chakra and a home and a family. Tell the story. 
you're needing spiritual strength. I just heard it again. Someone is discontent and bored. And, yep, that's exactly what it is. So, sacrifice unknown. Palace of Wands. So, I, I tell no lies. Palace of Wands. Palace of Action. House of Action. It's in reverse. This is what you're supposed to sacrifice. Don't take any, please. You would be so wrong. Okay, you're operating in your shadow self. Get the courage to balance your energies and move from wholeness, please. You're going to jack yourself up. You are to sacrifice the action that you are thinking about taking. That's what this card says to me. Anything else for sacrifice? And that's our story. I tell no lies. It's in reverse. Stop. Pause. Let's see what your fulfillment of wishes actually looks like. And this is the last card that I am to clarify. Tell the story of fulfillment of wishes. Why is it here for Aries? Yes. Whoever is generating the energy in this read. You have been cautioned by the divine multiple times, and this will serve as another caution for you and a confirmation that the energy that you are maneuvering is, is incorrect, and it will get you in trouble karmically, in trouble with the spirit realm, okay? So please take a pause. What does wish fulfillment look like here? Tell the story. I'm supposed to go to Kipper after this pass. Thank you. Thank you. So quite a lengthy clarification. And if we're going to Kipper, that means it's lengthy and detailed. So let's go ahead and break down from the bottom to a coin. Stop juggling. That's where you get your wish fulfillment. I tell you no lies. I can only read the energy as I get it. Because there is no new passionate spark, no new creative endeavor here. You're unbalanced. And you so you're not moving from clear thinking. Ace of Wands is reversed. Five of Swords is reversed. Beautiful. So coming out of the need to win at all costs. That's beautiful. Making a sound judgment, same card, different deck, okay? So it's in the upright, good judgment. Yes, thank you. Quickly, with the eight of wands. Look, I tell no lies. Yeah, get it right, get it together, quickly. We're in a karmic wash 2020. If you're behaving in your lower tendencies, you will get some stuff back that you're not wanting, Correct your course. I heard it again. Have strength to quickly correct your course. Because your Ten of Coins is on the table. This is your legacy. Ten of Pentacles. So you want to throw it away for a whim? For something that you're not having proper judgment on? Ten of Pentacles is your long-standing foundational stuff. Inheritance. Legacy. Those things that provide for you and future generations. It's here where you're thinking about plotting and planning to leave. Six, excuse me, four of cups in reverse. So you're not missing an opportunity. You've convinced yourself that you are because you're heavy in this competition. But you're to sacrifice this energy. That's the reading. Let's get us a card of advice for navigating the energy in this spread. As you hear the hawk outside, check out hawk symbolism. Very fitting for this reading. I tell no lies. Whoever this is generating this energy, please, before you get that karmic recoil. Okay? One part. Uh, sorry, I have a long deck. Still concentrating on the spread. So one card of advice, please. Coming from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck, which is wrapped in red. All about getting to the root of a matter. 
So one card for Aries navigating the energy in this spread for March 2020. One card, please. All about courage and balance. I keep hearing it. So when I hear it, I'll say it. They only stress something when it needs to be stressed. One card, please. Navigating the energy in the spring for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The medicine wheel. And it falls right on this marriage and your fulfillment of wishes. I tell no lies. Medicine wheel, card number 35, breaks to an eight. Eights are all about movement and abundance. So let's read from the book for card number 35. The essence, the medicine wheel is a sacred hoop with the four cardinal directions well marked. It represents the cycle of life, the cycle of nature, and the cyclical excuse me, the circular pattern of our cosmos. It has been used for millennia in indigenous cultures to bring harmony and well-being to the village. Its direction symbolize the four steps the shaman takes to become a person of power and wisdom. The invitation to manifest clear blue skies in your life, it's important that you take a look at certain aspects of your being. Enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are still clinging to events from the past. Continue to the West and notice which relationships are toxic and drain your energy. Step into the North and ask yourself, do I know my passions and show it? And at the East direction, visualize, visualizing how you want to live the next chapter of your life. It's up to you how much time you spend in each direction, minute, days, or months. But when you are done, make sure to step outside the wheel and contemplate your journey. The medicine. You must not postpone your healing journey any longer. It can it can be difficult to start, but you must find the inner strength, courage, to step into the medicine wheel or you may lose your opportunity. Told you, we're in a karmic wash. Keep playing if you want to. There are many ways and many paths. Choose the one you resonate most with. Once you have found it, the only mistake you can make is not to follow it. Go boldly. And I don't say these things to scare anyone. This is what I'm being told. These are cosmic facts. Okay? So this is the reading for March for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Guys, I'm over on Instagram seven days a week. So check me out there at, seven, at Fifth Element Throw 777. I do a card of the day. So even on days that I, you can't find me on YouTube, I'm on Instagram. Also, don't forget to check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next month, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.